Good evening, folks. It's AsherMage253 here again with a teaser for my next Let's Play project. We're doing Fantasy Star 2 for the Sega Genesis. Now, this follows on the heels of the Master System's Fantasy Star 1 and is set 1,000 years after Elise Landale and friends defeated the evil Emperor Lashik. Fantasy Star is a rather interesting RPG series from Sega in that it introduces science fiction elements into the game. Uh, there, there are two things that make Fantasy Star 2 stand out from the rest of the series. Uh, number one, it is the first to employ a continuous battle system. That is, you can enter... Enter a series of commands before you fight, and then press a button, and then have the co characters continuously execute said commands until you're ready to interrupt them. Number two, it is one of the hardest RPGs that uh, one can ever play. You will spend many, many hours doing a whole lot of grinding for money just to get the weapons and armor you need to advance through uh, to the later stages of the game. Uh, clearly, this is classic RPGing at its finest. And I'm more than happy to uh, start with Fantasy Star 2 as opposed to Fantasy Star 1. Uh, basically, since I know a little bit more about this game than any of the others in the series. Now, because of the difficulty level, I haven't been able to make it all the way through the game, and so it's kind of a semi-blind run for me. Uh, meanwhile, let's begin. Now, you'll be given the opportunity to name your character. The default is Rolf. Uh, because uh, the character's name is actually Rolf Landale. Spoilers upcoming! But, wait a minute. I'm going to name the character after myself. Help, Doc! I'm haunted by nightmares every night. What can you do for me? Isn't that always how it happens with dreams? Just as you get to the good part or the bad part, you wake up. Not a very good place to be in right now. But I've got no time to worry about that. I'm Nate, an agent here in Paseo.
uh, supercomputers controlling the entire planet. Maybe it has some answers for me. Well, time to report to work. Good morning, sir. Always ready for a tough assignment, sir. What's up? Monsters? Oh no! Let's get on with it! What's the assignment, sir? Thank you, sir! I have to prepare for this journey, but in doing so, we meet our first party member, Nay. And it looks like, oh great, I get to babysit. Okay, your home is where you uh, basically start your journey. It's also where you'll meet other party members as you progress through the game. Uh, basically, as you visit a town here, uh, you're going to meet a new party member if you immediately return home. Along the right side of the town of Paseo, we've got our various sundries. Here's a tool shop. Up north is weapons. Let me get up there. There we go. And down south, we've got an armor shop. Now, in the center of town is our uh, capital tower. And off to the left, we have a clinic where we can heal up. We can uh, revive dead characters at the clone lab. Or take a trip to a previously vis visited place uh, by going to the teleport station. They do charge a fee for this service, though. While I could do some information gathering... Oh, uh, I forgot about the data memory station here. Save your game... Uh, basically, in any town on the world map. We'll get an item much, much later that will allow us to save anywhere. Uh, but for right now... What I want to do is go over to the armor shop, uh, excuse me, the weapon shop, and do some stocking up. Basically show you how this works. While I could get a knife for, for my character, I give him a little bit of extra attack power. The better deal, since I have only 200 Meseta, is to go and buy a couple of steel bars for Nay. No, I don't want anything else. 
thank you very much. Later, Ace! And that's about all the time I have for this episode of Let's Play Fantasy Star 2! This is Azure Mage 253 signing out. Thanks for watching.